Welcome back, this is Mr. Tipton, and today we're talking about area. Area of parallelograms, triangles, and trapezoids, to be specific. First, let's make sure we understand what area is. Area is the number of squares inside a two-dimensional figure. Literally, it's how many squares could fit inside a flat um, space. There are three different formulas that we need today. We have our area of parallelograms formula. A equals B times H. A stands for area. B stands for base. And H stands for height. Area equals base times height. You've probably heard that before. Also, our tri area of a triangle formula. Area equals 1 half times base times height. We talked in a previous video that a triangle is only, or that a, a triangle is half of a parallelogram. So the formula for area is half of what a parallelogram is. Trapezoid formula is a little uglier. It's one half the height times the base, uh, times base one plus base two. And we'll explain a little bit more about that uh, when we get to those examples. It's very important for you to know that when you are finding the area of figures, the base and the height always make a right angle. Okay, sometimes you'll have information that you don't need. You want to make sure and you use the correct numbers. You know you have the base and the height when they make a right angle. That's super important. All right. So moving on, let's find the area of some figures. We're going to start with parallelograms in example one. And every time we find the area, we're going to start by writing the appropriate formula. And for area of a parallelogram, it's A equals B times H, base times height. Remember, the base and height of a figure make a right angle. Our right angle is right here. That means our base is 10 and our height is 5. We actually don't even use the 6 feet in this problem. It's extra information. All right, that's a, that's a slant height. That's something different. Base and height make a right angle. Anyway, 10 times 5 is 50. And we need an appropriate label, and it is square feet. It gets a two because it's two-dimensional area, square area. Ask me a story about that if you want. Um, let's move on to number two. Again, another parallelogram. Area equals base times height. And there's only one number, but there's these congruency marks here. I guess it means that all four of these sides are three centimeters so my base is going to be three and my height is going to be three the area of this figure is nine square centimeters that means we could fit nine squares inside this figure four five six seven eight nine all right, moving on. Oh, we have another parallelogram, but this one's a little different. Can you tell how? It's going to use the same formula, but in this problem, we are given the area and we're trying to find the base. No big deal. We're going to use the same formula, except we, ha we have different information. We know that the area is 108 square miles. We also know that it's the area because it's got the the square miles label on it. The base, we don't know. You can use B or you can use X. Doesn't matter. And our height is 9. So to get B by itself, we divide both sides by 9. And we end up with B is equal to 12 miles not square miles. Square miles is the area. 
but miles is just one dimensional. It's how long this part of the rectangle is. 12 miles. All right, let's move on to triangles. Our area of a triangle formula is one half times the base times the height. And remember, let's see, we've got a three, a four, and a five. How do we know which one's the base and which one's the height? Because the base and the height make a right angle. So our base is four and our height is three. We don't need to use five at this time. Put in your calculator if you need to, but I'm guessing we can all do half of four, which is two. And two times three is six. And there's no there's no labels, there's no units on our numbers. So we're gonna use U for units. Six square units is the area of this triangle. Example five, same formula. One half times the base times the height. And lots of numbers here. Base and the height make a right angle. So here's our right angle. Means we're going to use 10 for the base. Even though it's on top, that's okay. We can turn our paper. We can draw figures any direction that we want to. Just as long as we understand that the base and the height make a right angle. So the height is 5 and 6 is not used. Again, calculator if you need to. Or you can just say half of 10 is 5. And then 5 times 5 is 25. And again we have square units. And okay, another triangle one. Kind of like we did with parallelograms, here's one where we know the area and we're trying to find the height. Same formula, just plug in what you know. Area is 120. We know our base is 12 and we're looking for the height. You can keep it H, you can use X whatever. Simplify each side before you do anything to both sides. Over here we've got 1 half times 12 which is 6. And then we divide both sides by 6 and we get h is equal to 20. So the height is 20 feet it looks like. Not feet squared, not square feet. We found something that is one dimensional. We already knew the area so it's just 20 feet is the height of that triangle. Next are trapezoids. Trapezoids have a little bit more complex of a formula. Pause anytime you need to. You know, draw the figures, get your formulas written, then you can hit play again. Formula is one half the height times base one plus base two. I've added a little note here. Base one and base two. Well, how do you know which one the bases are? The bases are the parallel sides. And I'll add that in. Bases are the parallel sides. So in example 7, our parallel sides are the top and the bottom. Those are, those are the bases because they are parallel. Now base 1, base 2, it doesn't really matter which one is which. Because they are inside the parentheses, we know we're going to be adding them together first. Um, I'm in a habit of always using uh, the shorter base as base 1 but again it doesn't really matter. Half the height. Remember base and height still make a right angle so the height of our figure is going to be 7. Base 1 is 5. Base 2 is 10. 
First, we do what's in parentheses over here. Half of 7 times 5 plus 10 is 15. And if you did half of 7 is 3.5 and then did 3.5 times 15, oh, that's that's kind of a bit much. You might you might throw that one into your calculator. And when we do, 1 half times 7 times 15 is 52.5 square units. Oh, not square units. Sorry. We have a unit this time. What is it? It is square centimeters. Okay. 52.5 square centimeters. I'm actually going to erase all of my work here because I got a lot of writing on the screen. Pen starting to to lag out. Let's work on the bottom one. Area is equal to one half the height times base one plus base two. Remember, the bases are the parallel sides. If it's easier for you to mark them ahead of time, go for it. The 3 and the 6 are going to be our bases. Half the height, which is 4, makes a right angle with the bases. And we've got 3 plus 6 in parentheses. That's going to get done first half of 4 times 3 plus 6 is 9. This one's a little prettier than the last one. Half of 4 is 2. 2 times 9 is 18 square units. Okay, so finding the area of these figures is all about using the formulas, substituting in the information that you know. You start with the formula every time Substitute in what you know, and then do the math or let your calculator do it if you need that help. If you have questions, write them down, and we'll talk about them in class. See you soon.